Okay, guys, here we're looking at this beautiful Ford T-Bird. It's a 1961 all red automatic and chrome. Now, this is one of the cars that was sitting here before that I wanted to do. I did uh, two T-Birds, or at least one black one before in here, and I see that black one. No, it's sitting right, right next to it. What am I talking about? I did that one right there. <laughs> and that thing was a lot of fun to do, and we got them to open up the doors on and whatnot. But now we're looking at this one right here. And um, I said before, if I could get a chance to do it, I would. I'd come back and it's still here. And uh, this thing is nice, clean, shiny red. I mean, this is real nice find right here. Although it's a survivor, just like the others. When I say survivor, I mean survivor over time. It's not dogged out. And if it's been refurbished, meaning restored, even better. So the thing is, this car has really stood out with this red paint and chrome and uh i came in i looked i said good it's still here and i wanted to do this one for you guys i mean this thing has dual exhaust tips you can see them both on each side and uh i love the back end on these with the circular lights and you always had the t-bird in the middle you know and you see your gas door back there you know, whereas this one over here had a different setup in the rear. It was a little bit more modern, a later model. But this one here was an earlier model. And it's funny how for you, some of the same type of designs, just more modern than the others. When they're rebuilding cars and making new cars, they always add on a little something from the past. Well, here, I doubt if you ever see these things over tires. But you never know what all electrical cars is going to be coming out. Ford and other automakers can do whatever designs they want now. So the thing is, you know, you may see a T-Bird like this come out of retro with that conservative back end and the sport look. You know, you may see that come back. You just might. But let's take a look at the inside with the passenger side first. And as you can see, we have this beautiful dashboard in here. Uh, it's very clean. No nicks, no scrapes, no cuts, no nothing. But as you look down further, you see the Thunderbird sign going across and down in the middle, how open space that is, but it is beautiful in there. Or even a red steering column. Let's look at these seats real quick. These bucket seats are lovely, you know. For an old Ford, you can't beat this, you know. Going in the back, you get the same thing. It's nothing but red. Nothing but red all over. And uh, this car is really nice. These seats in the back are lovely. You know, let's take a look at the driver's side. Okay, guys, looking at this thing from the driver's side, I mean, you can't really beat it. This is very, very clean. You know, as you're looking at it, let's take a little closer look. And you see the uh, cockpit, the driver's side. This thing is nice, 120 on the dash. You know, you got your RPM over there. No, that's a clock. My bad. <laughs> had your clock right there. I mean, you had everything. Your little radio. That's an aftermarket radio. But as you look down, you have your um, air conditioning system. Or if it had air conditioning or not, well, that's where it would be, the switches. And it's automatic. And the steering column itself is really nice, as you can see. The red steering column, the horn, the Thunderbird hub in the middle. I mean, this thing was beautiful, man. You can't beat this one. You know, so if you like this car, we're going to take a look at the information board before I say that. Come on, let's look at it. Okay, guys, here we are, information board. It's a 1961 Ford T-Bird, 390 V8. You see the price over here on the side. They want $28,000 for it. And uh, it's all red, two-door. You know, if you think it's a wonderful find and buy, give them a call here at Gateway Classic Cars. All right?